Limits of indeterminate form. Evaluate limit of the function x squared minus 9 divided by x plus 3, where x approaches minus 3. So let's first substitute x equals to minus 3 and see what do we get. So if I write x as minus 3 in the numerator, I get minus 3 squared minus 9 over minus 3 plus 3. Now that is 9 minus 9, which is 0, and minus 3 plus 3 is also 0. So what do we see? We see a quotient that has, this is a quotient when you divide something by something, right? And when we substitute the limiting value in it, we get 0 over 0. So that is a case of indeterminate form, right? Now, in such cases, it is very clear that x cannot be equal to minus 3, right? Since if you put minus 3, denominator becomes 0, and anything over 0 is not defined. Well, 0 over 0 gives us something more into it, right? It indicates that when you plug in minus 3, your numerator is also 0, and denominator is also 0, right? In denominator, we do have a factor x plus 3. Well, we have a factor x plus 3 also in the numerator. That is why numerator is 0. Correct. So, if we could isolate that factor, then we could easily find the limit. And that is the strategy which we are going to use to solve such problems, right? So, we will use here a strategy which I'm saying factoring, right? And I have some more examples to follow and help you in first figuring out when which strategy should be used and then how can we use it, right? So, as you can see, we do have a factor of x plus 3, which we can see in denominator, but not in numerator. So, if we factor it out, we can see it, right? So, let's do that. So, we have this question as limit x is approaching minus 3, and the rational function we have is x squared minus 9 over x plus 3. Now, numerator is basically a difference of squares, right? It could be written as limit x approaches minus 3. It is x square minus 3 square, correct? 9 is 3 square. And in denominator, we have x plus 3. So we can factor difference of squares by writing x plus 3 times x minus 3, correct? So the numerator can be factored as x plus 3 times x minus 3 and we do have x plus 3 in the denominator. As you can see, we have a factor x plus 3 in numerator as well as in denominator and now it can be cancelled out. And so we can simplify this and write it as limit of the function x minus 3 where x is approaching minus 3, correct? And now by applying the laws of limit, we can find the limit. We can substitute minus 3 for x. And if we do that, we get minus 3 minus 3, that is minus 6. Now, as you can see, the function does not have 3 in its domain. The function does not exist at x equals to minus 3. But limit does exist, right? So we have a hole here at x equals to minus 3. I can actually show you and so that, you know, it helps you to understand. So let me just sketch a graph for you here to show how this function really looks like. As we have simplified here, we got this simplified form that x squared minus 9 divided by x plus 3 is equal to x minus 3 where x is not equal to minus 3, right? So, so at minus 3, we have a hole. Let's say this is the value minus 3, right? So, at minus 3, we have a hole. And the function is x minus 3. So, what we can do is, x minus 3 means y-intercept is at minus 3. And the graph is of a straight line, kind of like this, right? So, I'm not drawing this part now because I want to show you that this point is a hole. So, the function is approaching a value of minus 6. Let's say this is minus 6 for us, right? 
it is approaching minus 6 but minus 6 that means minus 3 minus 6 is not in the domain of the function so the function is kind of like this you see that so as you can see if you approach minus 3 from left or from right we approach a value minus 6 that is the limiting value correct so that is the answer and minus 3 as such is not in the domain of the function I hope that makes things very clear okay so what we learn from here is that limit of a function may exist at a point where the function does not exist okay so limit actually is the value which a function is approaching as we approach that point from left as well as right side for the given case the limit of the function is minus 6 so we can write answer the limit is minus 6 thank you